Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, it's already October and it means it's time for my Halloween special Dolly paints. If you are watching my videos already for a while, then you know it already, of course, that every year in October I make at least a couple of Halloween special dolls, two or three of them, and this year I have planned for sure three Halloween special dolls. There are five Fridays in October, so I hope I will be able maybe to push more of them, maybe four Halloween specials, but three dolls this Halloween, this is what I can promise you 100%. So, and today we are going to make actually like the classics of horror, today we are going to make a Pennywise doll and this is actually going to be not like a scary clown Pennywise, it's going to be rather a glamorous vintage young lady. I'm going to go for something like, you know, kind of baroque circus clown today. And you know, I actually want to make this Pennywise doll already for a very long time. If not since the very beginning of my channel, then for sure since the moment the last IT movie came out. I don't remember when it was, two or three years ago, something like this. And the only reason why I actually held back with this makeover is because I know that so many people out there are scared of clowns. I know that, you know, clowns is one of the most popular phobias out there. And, you know, I don't want to trigger you, I don't want to provoke you. Me, myself, you know, I'm not scared of clowns, it's not my problem, I have other phobias in life. If you're curious, I'm scared of birds, yes, and this is kind of a little bit a bigger problem than clowns, because clowns you can avoid, and birds is pretty impossible to avoid them and really it's the same like many people are scared of you know, spiders or mice or rats they really get in panic attack and running away I have exactly the same reaction on all kinds of birds like in sparrows and doves and you know, seagulls, bigger ones so, yes, we all have our problems, we have all our phobias and that's why I held back and didn't make this Pennywise doll for such a long time. But you know, guys, I really want to make one. Please let me for once. Just if you are scared of clones, I'm so sorry. I really don't want to trigger like bad feelings in you. Maybe just this video this time is not for you. The next time is gonna be a better one without clones. And today I'm going to like let myself go. And today I'm going to make a beautiful vintage baroque, I don't know, old-fashioned clown lady, something like this. Actually, I'm not going to make her very scary. And you know, honestly, I don't know, our daily life in 2020, everything what is going on with this pandemic, with what is going on in America, with and BLM movement and the elections and everything, and the situation that is going on right now in my homeland country, in Belarus, I don't know, it all just breaks my heart and I feel like we all have some sort of, I don't know, PTSD at the moment. That's why I'm not going to make too graphic, you know, Halloween dolls. I mean, there will be no blood, no skulls, no scars, no other damaged, I don't know, body parts. I'm going rather for special, maybe sometimes a little bit darker, but not really grim and graphic dolls this year, because I can tell you, I'm personally not in my brightest place, mentally speaking, you know, it's no, not in the darkest, thank God as well, but anyway, it could be better, and I don't want to provoke not myself, not nobody else with these two graphic and spooky Halloween dolls. So we are going for some wild creativity, we are going to make dolls that are really not typical for me, I don't know, for something cool, fun and creative. 
So, today we're going to make a Pennywise doll. I think it's time to start. Of course, like always, if you're new here to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. Of course, welcome to our family. I upload doll repaint videos, well, before it used to be every week Friday, but now, since I'm going for bigger projects, let's say every second week Friday, I for sure upload the doll, sometimes every week Friday, if I have, I don't know, time, if it's just just happens if the universe pushes me and let me go a little bit faster. So, welcome to the family, hello to my old friends and let's start working, guys! I've decided to use a regular Draculara doll for this project because I need a doll with a very neutral face mold so I can draw whatever I want on top of it and Draculara is kind of perfect for it. So let's quickly go through my standard preparation routine, starting with undressing, then cutting her hair off and disconnecting the head from the body. You know it already, of course, that I use heat of my hair dryer instead of hot water to make a rubber head soft to be able to disconnect it from the body. And you know, guys, I still remember in the beginning of my channel, I had to explain this choice in every single video of mine. Because everyone else used hot water and many people in the comments were so upset and insulted by me using hot air that I really had to explain it all the time that using hot air is much easier and safer also in some way. But now I see already kind of new generation of doll artists who also uses hair dryer as well instead of cooking water and making everything wet and you know all this jazz with, with hot water, don't like it. So, the next step is removing her makeup with acetone. And then we can move on to the hair part of the makeover and of course our Miss Pennywise will have ginger hair, there is no question about it. I've picked up this very pretty Celtic Saran hair for her. It's a very pretty ginger hair color with a lot of red in it and I like that it doesn't really look like a cheap clown red hair. It's more kind of sophisticated ginger color. Very pretty. A sophisticated color for a sophisticated clown lady. So, and first of all, I'm covering her head with a couple of layers of red acrylics. So, and after this I place all this new hair into the holes in her head using my rerouting tool. This job usually takes me around 4 hours, let's say, and this is what I've got in the end. Really beautiful ginger hair, 
So now I'm going to add tacky glue inside of the head and I will let it dry for 24 hours. The next day I can spray the face with a couple of layers of our unmissable Mr. Super Clear sealant and when the surface is prepped I can start drawing the face. I've applied a layer of white pastels to her face to make it a little bit lighter but my camera didn't record it for some reason, I've got just a one second clip of it. So we jump immediately to sketching her eyes and eyebrows and then we'll start drawing shadows using very soft peach color pastels and these pastels they look very light right now but after I seal the face with Mr. Super Clear the pigment will become much more visible like brighter and darker at the same time Well, you can see the difference now after I've applied the sealant. It's the same layer of soft pastels, but after Mr. Super Clear being used on it. You see, the color has been changed pretty drastically. I want to give her very dramatic smoky eyes today, and this is actually where I'm going to start, applying shadows to her eyes. She will have a red nose, of course, and then I can also draw big red lips already. Now we will draw them more detailed a little bit later. First of all, I want to concentrate on her eyes. When I'm quite happy with the intensity of the eyeshadows, I can draw the eyes, the eyeballs actually, the irises, and to add highlights to the eyelids. And I want to give her orange eyes today, it will look super pretty and super mysterious on her. Let's also draw some shadows around her nose and probably it's time finally to work more detailed on her lips. And then I can draw the famous Pennywise smile crossing her face and going up to the eyebrows. Now I still want to add highlights to her eyes using white acrylic paint. And to the middle of the eyelids I add a touch of golden acrylics. 
So now the face is almost finished and you can actually see how it looks next to the body even though I didn't, you know, perform any dramatic changes on her skin and it means we still have to blush the body as well otherwise they would look quite strange, you know, together, this hat on top of this body. So, first of all, I will sand the body with nail buffers, like usually, to remove the glossy top from the surface. Then I will spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I will blush it with the same white and peach color pastels like we've just used on her face. So, now the face and the body finally look like they're parts of the same project, of the same person. And now I think we will move on to the outfit and I'm going to start with making a corset out of warbler thermoplastic. You know guys, my mom is finishing up now a dress for the second winner of our collab slash contest. So I've been left kind of on my own for a while and I'm going to make all the Halloween outfits myself, it seems. So I start with warming up the thermoplastic and then I wrap it around the doll's body so like this I can shape it as a corset. Then I take a piece of vintage French lace and I'm going to glue it to the corset using white tacky glue. And then when glue gets dry, I can decorate it with all kinds of rhinestones and these golden caviar balls.
And look, now these big crystal decorations, they will be perfect to give some, you know, kind of clown vibes to the outfit and keep it elegant and classy at the same time. I think it's kind of perfect choice, perfect rhinestones for it. So, and this is how it looks now. The corset, the basic corset has been kind of finished. Then I have another beautiful piece of vintage lace and I'm going to make a frilled collar out of it. After this I'm making a skirt out of the same lace we've glued to the corset and now I'm going to fold it in two to make the skirt shorter and also to create the layers at the same time. And you know what guys, I'm looking now at the outfit and I think I want to add another layer of this darker frilled lace to the collar on top of this lighter lace collar. It will kind of bring everything together. Yep, check it out, now it looks really finished I think. So now I can move on again and now I want to make a pair of shoes for her. You can see I've already prepared all the details for it, so let's cut them out and start. I think I will go for a pair of red Mary Jane shoes today, with some decorations, with some crystals, and I begin with making basic shoes out of Warbler thermoplastic.
So here are my basic shoes. Now I can cover them with red acrylics. And the soles I will make golden, I think. And then I decorate the shoes in a way very similar to the corset decoration, using the same golden caviar balls and the same big red crystals. And then I cover the shoes with glossy varnish. And here they are guys, check them out, our shoes. You see I've also added frilled lace to the legs, like to the bottom of her legs. It was like a finishing touch, I don't know, I think it looks good here. So now I think we're done with the outfit and I can finally start working on her hair. I want to give her very wild, big, curly hair today and that's why I'm obviously starting with curling her gorgeous ginger hair using a barbecue stick and a hot hair straightener. So, check it out, this is how it looks two hours later. Yeah, it's a long job, but we are not done yet, because now I will slightly tease the curls to make them kind of fluffier, wilder and more natural looking. And this is where I've ended up after teasing and fluffing her hair for a while. And this is, yeah, this is what I wanted to make. Beautiful, big and wild hair. Yeah, it looks very pretty. I'm actually very happy with the end result. So, now I still need to attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then we'll finally take a look at the end result pictures. So here is my first doll out of this year's Halloween collection and I think this glam Pennywise girl is a very decent beginning of this journey. She looks very old fashioned, she looks also very classy, you know, covered from head to toe in this authentic original vintage French lace from the 60s. Yeah, it's a beautiful clown lady from another era and you cannot say for sure if she's a good clown or an evil one. But I think she's kind of a little bit both of them. Sometimes she can be cute and touching and sometimes she's a real evil clown from a horror movie. I'm really happy with the way her outfit looks because I can tell you honestly guys I'm already got used lately to get finished outfits from my mom so I wasn't even sure if I still can make doll outfits myself 
But you know, it seems to be one of the skills that you cannot forget. Thank God, because soon I need to make an outfit for my next Halloween special doll. And the second one, by the way, it will be completely different than the Miss Pennywise doll today. It will be vice versa, a very futuristic project, not an old-fashioned one. It will be, yeah, quite something new for myself, so I'm very excited about it. Going to start working on it immediately after I finish this video maybe I even will be able to finish and to upload it by the next week Friday who knows but you know it looks like it will be in two weeks again because I'm planning to make a lot of very special accessories and it will take really quite a while including the drying process and then making the video but anyway, subscribe to not miss my next Halloween special project next week or in two weeks. It will be really fun one. So, and this doll is available for sale right now on eBay. It will be there for three days like always. So if you need a little Miss Pennywise in your life, in your interior, please go and check it out. You will find the link in the description box under this video. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you already very soon in my next Halloween special doll repaint videos, or next week Friday, or in two weeks. So, see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.